Don't say it! Don't you say it! Left. Come on! Hello spirits, before I begin, if I do sound like I'm sick, it's because I have a cold. But to continue, recently it was announced that the Nine Rounds actually got a season 3. And a lot of what was in the trailer seemed lazy as it can be. And you'll hear why soon enough. Without further ado... <laughs> The Nine Realms focuses on four characters, Tom, June, Alex and Delangelo, travelling through a new realm, with new armour, meeting new dragons, while multitasking to keep dragons hidden from the people inside and outside of Icarus. And I'll be right back. Okay. Personally, there is nothing to like about this show. You might think this is a HA! Psych! Gotcha! But no, just take my word. As you just heard from the lovely list of positives and how much of the video is left, you can assume that this video is going to be nothing but negative. Oh boy! Dragon suits were introduced in the third film in the trilogy, and I assume this was the case because Velka having dragon armor in the second film. But in Nine Realms fashion, stealing ideas from their popular and less popular medias, they just had to include the dragon suits in the most unoriginal way. Something I should mention is the worst thing about these suits isn't that they were added, it's that there is no variety between the suits. Much less do they even make sense for their colours. Now, I don't like these inbred designs regardless, and even if they are in-inspired rip-offs from the originals, every fucking suit is all black with different colours. Where, get this, some represent their design colours, and some not even making sense, but they're all the same. So that there was no way you could have given the corresponding scale colour to each rider. You know, you just had to copy a little more of the film's homework. Hey man, can I copy your homework? Oh, uh, can I copy your homework? No, you can't copy my homework! No. There is Vincent! Vincent! What I'm about to say has absolutely no confirmation, but I feel like some users can agree I've hit the head on the nail here. Now, in episode 1, the Fire Realm gave us the return of... Drumroll, please. Monstrous Nightmares. <sighs> and here's the kicker. They even reuse the exact same model as Gustav's dragon, or again, in DreamWorks fashion, the same dragon. Also, again, not confirmed, and at the same time, you might be thinking I'm lying or exaggerating, but it's the exact same colours. For context, Gustav is a dragon featured in Dragons, the good shows, that is. He was Snotlad's admirer. Anyways, he looked up to Snotlad and found a dragon to which he called Fanghook. You know, instead of Hook Fang. And for some reason, that dragon or model exists here, somehow. Unlike the sigil reveal, there is nothing to tie in the connection to Gustav. I also hope they don't. So, when looking for similarities between the Fireworms in Nine Realms and the past shows, I came across an episode which had the misuse of dragon eggs by characters who were designed to be very similar. In an episode in The Riders of Burke, there was an episode called Gemma for Different Colour. Fish Legs finds a glowing stone, which is said to be lucky, but upon returning it, they were found out to be Changewing Eggs. In Dr. Catastrophe, the team tries a lore of Fire Grunkles back to the Fire Realm, in which they use Fire Realm stones to do so. <laughs> Guess what? Only to find out the food was instead dragon eggs. Both episodes share the same storyline, with a few changes obviously. Nevertheless, it was Rider with the Round Dragon finds stones only to later find out they're dragon eggs. The Rider feels guilty and they return eggs to dragon. What are you gonna do, fish legs? Ah! It's been trouble, so I can be like you. Oh. 
And so I don't know if I've been clear or if people have just been assumed so, but I do not blame the animation on the animators. I have been fully aware of their small budget, which is further proven with the small back of a dragon in the finale. But my god, is this animation even more atrocious than the last time. Two examples I have here is the monstrous nightmare from earlier. Like, look how he moves! They also forgot his horns in this shot. Another one I have is... <laughs> what I call a roly-poly. I've actually found out it's called a catastrophic quaken. It has the utterly slowest moving boulder speed I have ever seen. Who's not going to be able to dodge that? I do have to fucking wonder where all the budget goes. <laughs> now, this humor isn't as worse as season 2's, but I wouldn't take that as a positive though. In the first couple minutes, they have Terrible attempts for jokes already. A predictable joke by Eugene saying he doesn't want to be in their club, then immediately wanting to be in their club out of pure boredom. Another was a predictable joke from, who would you guess, D'Angelo, where he records this, Are you crazy? and plays it a couple times. Are you crazy? <laughs> <coughs> This was everything lazy about the show. Everything here is, well, everything bad about it. If you're out of the loop, there has been a mystery between Tom and Thunder's connection, which has been scale of items from the past, like a helmet and sigil from season one, and a spear piece from season two, as well as two other items later on. And on its own, you would think, oh, this is cool, who could be leaving these clues? However, people guess this from the trailer that shocker, Tom is a descendant of Hiccup, vice versa with Wonder and Toothless. I honestly don't know why I did the Burger King foot lettuce meme. There was also this small theory I had that Tom's dad is connected to the dragon since they're, you know, unoriginal with ideas lately. And in season 3 they've given us a scroll in the finale. Yay. Which, for reference, isn't revealed to us. Yay. Probably until season four. Great. And for the other item is Ikup Shield in episode two. Yep. However, the only problem is it doesn't bear the mark of his sigil. So I don't know if they were lazy or if it was intentional. And if it is so, it doesn't make a lick of sense that it was found in a fire area. Why am I saying area instead of realm? Well, for context, this shield was lost in the finale of Race to the Edge. What doesn't make sense is why is it in the fire realm instead of the ice realm, as he lost it in an icy area. I mean, yeah, the shield could have been moved by this mysterious person or a passing dragon. But what doesn't make sense is why are they giving us this? A mystery that's solved, yet also unsolved. We already know Hiccup or a Descendant is responsible for leaving the scrolls. Now, a mystery of your connection with another or finding the truth isn't something unheard of. Only those plots don't have prior content that reveals the truth we already know. For example, Carmen San Diego. It focuses on Carmen finding her real family, or her mother in this case. And each season scours hints or answers to her past, until the finale has her meet her mother. Why it works is because we've seen the hints, we've seen everything. But the mystery in this show? Well, to me it won't seem very compelling. This is... This is... This is... What? This is boring. So you know Gustav, the guy they just mentioned, uh, like, five minutes ago? Well, in the fandom, I'm pretty sure he's the most hated character, but I think we have a new contender in the ring. So last season, a new character was introduced, who didn't get a lot of screen time, and is a brother to one of the characters. Well, guess who becomes the fifth member of the group? Fucking Eugene! What makes this weird is even the group doesn't like him. Oh, and everyone, if you want to make friends, make sure to blackmail them. Great character, DreamWorks. Hey everyone, give it up for DreamWorks! And I want to mention this scene. You can already tell where this is going. And it's gonna end up with them closer siblings. And June's family being whole again. <laughs> 
Oh, I refuse to call him by the name he prefers, because then he seems less like a dagger ripoff. Our oh, new theory, Leonard is Dagger's descendant, I wouldn't be surprised. Leonard in season 3 has a continued, yet unimportant role throughout the entire season. I think he's being hyped up to the antagonist of the show, only he's an antagonist introduced in the second season and no one knows him. 10 out of 10 DreamWorks, great matchup to the other villains introduced beforehand. His entire motive is trying to find the lightning bird, aka thunder, and the most important thing he does, by accident might I add, is discovering the ice realm, which is the last scene in the finale. Seriously, why is he even in the show while simultaneously not being an important character? You're so dumb! You are really dumb! For real! Jude and May's relationship is just so badly spread out and executed, just which is the exact same thing as dragons, only there's just a wee issue. The feud is shown at least once in each season, like are you building something up? If so, actually show it. At this point in time, we hate May for more reasons than one. Huh, what was I saying? Now, if you're gonna hint or dedicate screen time to showing June and May's relationship being repaired slowly, give them time to shine. What can I use an example? Oh! I have the perfect example. In the first movie, Stoic wasn't letting Higa fight dragons, even if he wanted to. This eventually leads Gobba to convince Stoic into unrolling Higa, only after being introduced to not killing dragons. Higa lies his way to the top until he's revealed to be lying, which leads Stoic to disown Higa only to step back and just think about what he just said. Then Hiccup shows Stoic his worth while on a dragon, and then apologising to Hiccup. In the show he really has changed, he just the village to live with dragons. However, this show doesn't do any of that, or any modern display of that. <laughs> yeah, they show small feuds or even more love for the other child, but that's it. Stoic and Hiccup's relationship were mended more in a single movie than the Nine Realms has done in three seasons where they could have replaced any of these useless episodes with that. There's a final fight against the Riders and a dragon called the Sky Torture, a dragon who controls flamethrowers. Yes, that is an actual dragon name. So Alex's team is tasked with distracting it, while Tom's team acquires the Vault Ripper's help. Oh yeah, did I mention the Vault Ripper returns? after somehow living. But why am I telling you that? Have you noticed anything about the clips? The riders, for some reason, aren't wearing their suits. Suits that can directly protect them against fire, and has been shown to protect them against the fire-related dragons. Which, <laughs> for reference, both dragons are well equipped with. The Sky Torture more so. So why are the Fire Realm only? Do, do they want to die? I want to die. This show has not improved one bit, and will only keep falling down the mountain. This show keeps getting worse in terms of, well, just about everything. And unfortunately, I assume this show will run for nine seasons, so if this show is going to be renewed until the end, I'll keep reviewing and pirate, I mean, legally watching the show on a Hulu subscription account until it ends.